What's up, Aries? Welcome to your December reading. I hope that you're having an awesome day. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really do appreciate you. If this reading helps or resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information's in the description box down below. And yeah, Aries, with that being said, let's get right into your reading and see what messages need to come through for you for the month of December 2022. What's going on for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in December 2022. What's going on for Aries? Show me clearly. Any insight was decided for Aries. What did my Aries gang need to know? Whoa, that was fast. We got the Nine of Pentacles coming out here reversed. Ooh, you need some self-freaking-care, Aries. You need to up the self-care. We have the Empress coming out. Messages for Aries in December 2022. What's going on for Aries, please? Show me clearly. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Six of Cups reversed. Death. Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles and also the Nine of Swords. So you, there's some restlessness, okay? Some, maybe a lot. Uh, maybe you're experiencing a lot of anxiety about something from your past. The past is on your mind. It's weighing heavily on you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. We do have also have Taurus and Libra energy. Sorry, let me just get my situation. Let me get situated for this reading because Aries, oh my gosh. Okay. Whew, let's just take a deep breath because things for you have been a bit challenging i know the last reading we did for you was pretty intense i don't really remember it too much but i just remember it was very heavy and so we might be picking up the same group I'm sending you guys all my love i will say things are gonna get a lot better for you there is i sense i'm seeing with the cards I don't, i'm gonna break it down i'm gonna break it down for you aries but there is gonna be a ma major improvement and things are looking up things are looking a lot brighter i feel like there's a lot of support around you there's lots of love around you your ancestors angels those who have passed on who are no longer physically here they are around you watching out for you keeping your eyes peeled for you so don't you even worry about that um but yeah there's a lot of like <sighs> transformation that's occurring here you're getting your confidence back i definitely feel like there was something that happened in your past that took a hit to your confidence and you're kind of feeling it still right now nine of pentacles reverse where you may be doubting yourself or you may be doubting something or you're just doubting the path that you're on or you're just not feeling a hundred percent you ain't feeling a hundred you ain't feeling yourself you're not feeling so hot right now but that's gonna change because we do have the emperors that came out after that so it's like it seems like you're bouncing back after something that kind of took a hit at your confidence or knocked you off guard or knocked you off balance um you're bouncing back now you really do need to focus on self-love and self-care you really need to get back in tune with yourself you got to find yourself okay you kind of got thrown off guard so as long as you can try to like recalibrate and catch yourself and just like try to bounce back as quickly regain your balance as quickly as possible um and by doing that is by investing in yourself and taking good care of yourself um even like focusing on your money and just getting your stability back so definitely put your energy towards the things that are within your control things that are within your reach that are going to benefit you in the long term i even see like some of you maybe you've been neglecting your health maybe you haven't been taking the best care of yourself whether you haven't been sleeping enough maybe you haven't been eating enough maybe you've been under eating overeating or just like even stress eating but like make sure you're just taking good care of yourself and your health make sure you're staying hydrated um make sure you're getting the exercise doing some stretches making sure you're taking your vitamins right especially now um especially now if you're feeling like tired or lethargic make sure you're getting some sunlight make sure you're getting sun on your skin if you're living in colder climates like me oh, bitch is freezing it's cold as fuck there's so much snow <sighs> I don't be getting the sun anymore, which is so sad and depressing, y'all. But you know what? Make sure you're getting your vitamin D. Make sure you're getting your vitamin D because lack of the sun, we get sleepy. So if you're feeling tired, you're feeling like low energy, make sure you're make sure you're just taking your vitamins and eating good and taking good care of yourself because otherwise you start to feel that physically and you're unable to like take care of yourself and take care of what's going on around you right so make sure you're investing in yourself make sure that you take good care of yourself make sure that you're replenishing yourself and your body so that you have the energy and the strength to take on everything else that's going on inside outside of you everything right so 
you definitely need to invest in yourself invest in your health invest in your money the things that make you feel good about yourself the things that make you feel secure the things that make you confident okay some of you there's a new job that you're beginning in december some of you um you could be thinking about like starting up a new business or starting some sort of venture that could increase could um be investment in your money or bring an increase to your finances um for some it's like um there's something about like collaboration or group team teamwork groups <laughs> group projects teamwork kind of stuff so maybe it's like there could be the energy of like collaborating with others or sharing ideas with others um but there's just like a lot of support around you you're going to be coming into like relationships friendships family like just genuine connections that will be coming into your life in the near future that give you that solid support and just like i feel like there's just like a lot of love coming around you and just like anchoring you and just helping you on your journey which is really beautiful um even like just like random strangers that you bump into when you're out and about and they just they make an impact on your life or something they say to you just like makes your day or just like just is something that you need to hear at that moment it's just like i feel like there's going to be lots of those kind of occurrences where just like help is coming or help is available to you or just like you're going to be receiving a lot of support and just like a lot of um just a lot of of uh, love i can't even speak y'all <laughs> it's just like you might not even know how to react to this when you receive this kind of like there's just kindness there's a lot of kindness there's a lot of generosity and just people going out of their way to like help you or assist you or make things easier for you so definitely let people help you um you may be the type of person be like no i'm good on my own i don't need your help just let people help you just let people help you um don't say no don't shut it down it might make your life a lot easier if you just say yes right <sighs> but yeah it's like you are having some sort of glow up you are glowing the fuck up you're taking better care of yourself you're starting to feel yourself you're starting to get back to your roots again and the empress is also an energy of like something that's been in the works or something that's been growing for some time and it's getting ready to be birthed into your reality into your life now this might also represent like physical like physically like you could be pregnant shout out to those that are giving birth in december to little saggy little capricorn babies <laughs> happy birthday to them right really beautiful um this can also just represent like your ideas and anything that you begin around this time extremely fertile ground for lots and lots of growth and like just high potential for a lot of success around this time so that's great i love that for you so now at the bottom we have the six of cups reverse so this is bringing up the past now the past is on your mind the past is definitely on your mind a situation that left you with a bad taste in your mouth um this might be bringing up old childhood memories i know it's the holiday season so there <laughs> some of you it's like you're going back home after like being gone for a long time maybe you're like visiting family or friends you might even bump into some people from your past right six of cups reverse uh, i mean six of cups in general can be talking about bumping into people from your past but people who uh definitely you had endings with definitely being brought up here people you might even bump into so just watch out watch out keep your eyes peeled if you're not trying to run into them <laughs> dodge hide your face i'm just kidding confront them head on fight them in the parking lot i'm just kidding you do what's best for you aries there's no judgment here but there's some cleanup going on here right with this with this death card scorpio energy so something about a situation from the past it is changing it is transforming there is some sort of cleanup that's happening so i don't know if someone's trying to like clean up their act or clean up what they did to you or if this is just like you trying to clean up any of the dead weight and bad feelings and just negativity negative impact they had on you um their their um the aftermath or like the impact that they had on your life or how you are after what occurred after some sort of endings like you're trying to like you know get your shit straight <laughs> right um but there is some sort of cleanup there is some sort of cleaning up there is healing and there is like just letting go um but it, yeah it's like you're taking a closer look at something here with this three of wands you're taking a closer look and um it's just like you're zooming into like specific memories or specific times and yeah it just feels like you're doing a little declutter you're doing a little clean up like i already said clean up like a thousand times i just can't seem to stay away from that word um but yeah even with that knight of pentacles it's like you're slowly moving on from this 
um but again look look at how she's taking notes it's like you're taking a look back at something from your past but it's like you're you could be journaling about it you might be journaling maybe you would benefit from journaling about it if you're not maybe like getting it all out of your mind out of your head right we had that nine of swords it's like very restless in your head overthinking so it's like maybe getting it getting it out on like paper or like typing it that might be um something that's good for you just like a good release um but even just like the fact of you like learning from the past and like taking notes so that you don't do that again or you don't have that happen again or face the same situation again this is also like learning from the past right um but yeah three of wands and the knight of pentacles it is pretty slow movement but that's that's all good right there's no need for it to rush you can't really rush the whole healing process especially after what you went through right so be patient with yourself you're really being required to have patience for yourself this month and um you know healing is a journey healing is definitely something that takes some time but it is happening and you're making progress so um yeah let me take a look into literally i'm about to look into this nine of pentacles reverse look i split the deck we have the moon and the devil i feel like this is like deeply rooted subconscious like fears beliefs negativity right doubts um toxicities you know uh let's look into this nine of pentacles reverse for aries sun moon out of the Venus in december 2022 tell me about this nine of pentacles reverse for aries show me clearly nine of pentacles reverse for aries in december nine of pentacles please clarify this nine of pentacles reverse for aries we have the Six of Pentacles. This is something you're trying to get your balance back. Um, five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so some of you, some of you with that Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, some of you, oh, someone, no, not, well, no. Hold on, let me get it straight. <laughs> let me get it freaking straight here. Someone might owe you money. Someone maybe stole money from you. Um as try like you're trying to recover from that because for some it was a lot for some you suffered a big financial loss from someone who stole something from you so that's pretty sucky i see it's getting better but um damn like that didn't have to happen it definitely didn't have to happen right you definitely suffered from that definitely a loss here and um like for some it's just like you look back at the situation and you just kind of beat yourself up which you shouldn't but the energy of this five of swords is just like feeling like a failure or just feeling like you wasted your time or feeling like it was all for nothing um right even that six of cups reverse it's just like every time you look back at this it just it just a pit in your stomach and you just like kick yourself and you just like wish you didn't ignore the signs or you wish that you could have handled things differently or just like you wish you didn't trust the wrong people like that kind of stuff um but you're getting your balance back from that so that's good you're getting your balance back but definitely seems like your trust has been um messed up because of what you went through and that's something that you're working at overcoming uh, let's take a look at this ace of pentacles ace of pentacles what's this new beginning about aries in december show me clearly ace of pentacles for aries in december 2022 how about this ace of pentacles for aries what's this new beginning about three of swords queen of wands seven of cups anything else about the, okay we have the nine of pentacles reverse level confirmation and the eight of wands so you're so yeah it's basically you guys it's telling me the same stuff <laughs> nine of cups at the bottom six of swords and the five of cups for some this um ending that you went through was in a romantic relationship or someone that you had a lot of deep emotional feelings for this is what you're moving on from six of swords and you're moving on from what five of cups lots of sadness lots of disappointments lots of hurt especially with that three of swords especially with that three of swords there was a lot of pain that was caused here there's a lot of hurt even a lot of confusion lack of having full-on answers as to why this happened between you and this person why they did what they did why they did wh or what they did what they said what they did what they you get the pin you get the point basically what the nine of pentacles refers what we were just talking about here and how that had an impact on you even financially right um 
And so, yeah, there's still there's still a lot of heaviness that you feel about the situation, which we've been kind of saying, but you're slowly but surely moving away from that. Excuse the sounds of the background. Threw me off a little bit. Bear with me. You're really needing to feel your feelings. You're really needing to just get it all out. If you need to have an ugly cry, if you need to scream, if you need to yell, if you need to vent to someone, if you need to need a, you just got to find a way to channel this energy out so that it doesn't stay stuck within you um so if you could find like a creative project or like some form of like something like hands-on even or just like find a way to channel this energy out of your system okay um it does seem like you still carry a lot of confusion a lot of questions about this whole situation like you don't really fully understand um you still like left wondering why hmm let's see but even though you're still wondering why it's okay under i'm just look, taking a peek at underneath these cards that we just talked about the knight of cups the six of swords the five of cups underneath that five of cups we have the eight of swords reverse so it's like you will get some oh look underneath this eight of swords reverse it's like taking the blindfold off seeing things as they are through the illusions right now you're not fully seeing it for what it is or you're not fully seeing the truth seems like there is some sort of clarity incoming incoming clarity knight of swords and the eight of swords reverse so this is like some sort of epiphany that you have or some sort of realization that you have probably when you're taking a closer look that three of wands knight of pentacles so we'll look into that so it seems like you're going to be having some sort of like realization or epiphany that helps you move on or helps you just like rise above from this situation here eight of wands so clarifying this ace of pentacles this new opportunity this new beginning this new beginning is about you rising above from this situation and leaving it in the past and um like moving on even though you don't may not have all the answers at this moment and there's still like a lot of questions that you have or something that just like weighs on your mind from time to time or a lot um it seems like this is something that you're going to be getting over very soon or like you know making progression of like letting go and healing from this but i wanted to look into yeah let's look at your death let's take a look into like what's what's this death about like what's this cleanup you areas you're going through transformation um massive changes a lot but it's, it's gradual and again it's not something that just happens overnight although you might have some realizations that hit you out of nowhere um tell me about death for aries sun moon rising venus in december 2022 tell me about death for aries show me clearly we have the knight of wands Talk about death for Aries. We also have the Hierophant Reverse. We have the Six of Swords. And give me one more. Thank you. Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords Reverse. Okay, better that it's reversed than upright. Ten of Wands and the King of Cups. Five of Pentacles. So again, mentioning for some of you, there was like financial loss or this person owes you money or just like, you know real shitty stick <laughs> um yeah king of cups and the ten of wands there's still some heavy emotions that you're carrying about this situation but this is what we're clarifying death like what are you cleaning up you're cleaning up a lot of heavy emotions that you've carried from this situation the burdens right the emotional burdens the mental anguish the emotional stress that this has put you through is it indicating this ending you've already went through this ending right the worst is over you're on the upswing things are going to get better from here on out but damn did it hurt i see that you're putting distance between you and this situation perhaps you might actually be moving for some of you there's something about travel some of you are like actually moving though um some of you you're putting physical distance between you and a specific person especially if you were in a relationship with them or married to this person or engaged to this person hierophant reverse does talk about breaking contracts so some of you is like there's a contract that's coming to an end or you you're breaking a contract um leaving it early like even like for example if you lived with this person some of you is like you're breaking a contract to leave or move out sooner um or there might be an opportunity for you to do that whereas maybe maybe you didn't think you had that option in the past but now you do it's like okay and you're really holding on to that or you're holding on to like what it is that you value and like you're really um <clears throat> you're really need to put yourself first here and like you might be the type of person to like 
put yourself in everyone else's shoes but you're needing to go against that like hierophant reverse is about you needing to take the alternate route or like take the path that you traditionally wouldn't take right so moving forwards you need to do things differently aries you need to handle the situation differently than you would have in the past knight of wands and you need to be confident while doing so and do not doubt yourself right we did have a little bit of that doubtful energy earlier with that nine of pentacles reverse coming up twice so you really need to stay strong and you really need to not doubt yourself at all so you need to stay in your strength especially as you're going through some sort of separation or you're breaking apart or breaking away from something that wasn't good for you um and this, yeah it's like you're holding yourself back here with this four of pentacles you're holding yourself back it requires a lot of strength though it does require a lot of strength like some of you you're really struggling with like doing this um whew, it's tiring it is but you're doing it it's taking time but you're doing it and you should be proud of yourself now um <clears throat> three of wands and this knight of pentacles let's clarify that three of wands knight of pentacles for aries <clears throat> what's going on with this deck what's going on three of wands knight of pentacles for aries in december 2022 okay what's this card we're taking it three of cups reverse three of wands knight of pentacles for aries we also have judgment ace of pentacles double confirmation that we had earlier and the queen of pentacles nice hangman reverse justice and the ten of pentacles something all right so <laughs> for those dealing with like legal matters uh definitely shit is being pushed forward after some sort of delay too here the hangman reverse if you've been dealing with like legal matters you may have um, the, things have been probably pretty slow or backed up or delayed or just dealing with like <sighs> just another setback after another setback finally that's being straightened out so that's good if someone owed you money you're getting that back or it's coming back to you tenfold whether it's coming back from that person who stole from you or took from you or it's coming back to you in a different form but it's it's more than you actually even expected it's actually more than you lost so it's like it seems like aries it seems like whatever it is that you lost out on you're about to be receiving something even better a lot more especially if it's money related especially if this is relating to your money or your your money was suffering or the result of this situation caused you to suffer financially or like was an added stress that like got in the way of you working efficiently or giving your work like a hundred percent i'm seeing that like in december and even moving forward into the new year um that there's gonna be a positive change or like there's gonna be some sort of um something that you're receiving is a lot better than what you lost out on and it seems like as you see obviously with this ace of pentacles one ace of pentacles actually opens the doors for like a whole bunch right so there's gonna be lots of opportunities to get your finances straight especially with this queen of pentacles um where you're gonna be well off on your own you're gonna be financially independent you're gonna be able to really take care of yourself and also provide for your loved ones too queen of pentacles is someone who's very patient very compassionate very giving but it's like you being selective of who you're giving to right being very careful of who you trust right three of cups reverse because you really went through some hardship in relationships or relationships definitely were tested and um maybe some trust was a bit fucked up in some of these relationships now a final decision a judgment call is being made here with judgment coming out as you're looking back as you're taking a moment to or take some time or take however long you need to like take a closer look at um some of these relationships i feel like it's multiple relationships you guys the fact that like the six the six of cups reverse came out there's multiple multiple individuals involved here three of cups obviously three people involved so it's like there's multiple people that were involved in this situation or multiple people that were like maybe it's different situations like a handful of situations where it's just like wow you just realize like you people suck like <laughs> where am i where is my soul tribe at uh, like i said i feel like many doors opening for you in the near future where you're gonna really find your true people that's beginning already um 
what was I gonna say? Um, one door leads to many other doors. It's like this ending slash thing that you're suffering from is also like in a way some sort of blessing in disguise like you're unable to see this right now but this is leading to some really awesome shit down the line and there's like laughing in the background that threw me off <laughs> oh my god <laughs> threw me off but yeah like one door the unfortunately shitty situation but it opened this door and this door that's open for you it's like leading to like your whole world is like opening up in a way your whole world is opening up and it's kind of like you're there's a win there's a win that you're there's something that you're gaining or many things that you're gaining from this um that's starting to unfold you're now starting to become aware of that you didn't see before so that's what i got for you aries i'm gonna leave your reading here i hope this was helpful and insightful if it was let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel if you'd like to book a private reading with me the information is in the description box down below you can find me on my instagram and tiktok at jade stone tarot and yeah with that being said i'm gonna let you go aries take care and i'll talk to you in the next one bye